finally got to a buffet in Brazil, and this one is a Middle Eastern one, and it does not disappoint. Look how good this food looks. I wish you could taste this food because it is phenomenal. I know I'm going to love it here. So many great options. Now, it's not a huge buffet, but it's just packed. Everything's right on top of each other. But if you know anything about me, it's going to be heavy meats, and today is going to be no different. Look how good this meat looks. So I'm going to pile up on the meat, see what tastes good, and then go back for round two. Tons of great stuff. I don't know any of the names except for this one, which is Baba Ganoush, which is the best word to say ever. Make sure you check out Ricardo. I'll link in the description below. Let's go. Let's eat. I'm starting with the main dishes, the, the lamb. He, he's starting with the, I'm going heavy with the meat to start out with. I'll try to explain what we have when we're going on, but to be honest with you, I don't know what some of the stuff is, but the lamb looks good. Yes, it was very soft to any, but from the buffet. This is like a, a, a slow cooked roast beef looking is very uh, flaky. Very similar. Yeah, it, it like just melts when you eat it. Mm. The flavor of this meat is very good also. Very good, right off the bat I know I absolutely have to go back into more of this. I'm gonna call this chicken on a stick. I'm gonna eat a few. So it's like a, a chicken kebab I guess. Mm -hmm. This is great. Mm. I think I got two of these. I did a challenge sometime with a hundred of these. A hundred of these? Yeah, and they were like about 55 grams each. So it was very tough. This looks very chewy. A hundred of them was very tough. I would call this like a mm. mini cheese pizza with meat on top. Yeah. These are delicious. I could probably eat 20 or 30 of these for a meal, but 100 would be insane. This is also a but it's the closest one. Mmm. This is cheese. Okay. This is beef shaped like a hot dog. The Red and Phillies has something called, like this, called a cheeseburger dog. I'm guessing that's very similar to this. It's, an, it's not a meatloaf, but it's it's on the way to a meatloaf versus just beef. Yeah. All right, I'll do a little baba ganoush. You, you have to combine them. If you know how to combine stuff, they'll get much better. I'm not very good at it, but I'm trying to improve. So we just came from Fortaleza, which is a much warmer part of the country. and in Sao Paulo now, it almost feels like the outside is air conditioned mm. because we left Fortaleza this morning. So it's, the weather here is nice. This is a fried fish, I'm not sure what their term is, but. I didn't get that. Mm. I'm not like a really fan of like fried fish. Mm. I remember that challenge we did like the fish and chips. Yes, in New York. New York. That was hot. Yes. Not having a lot of experience with this type of food, I am very surprised. I'm really enjoying all of this. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that's just like, oh, I'll pass on that. I would get everything again so far. They have very unique flavors. Mm -hmm. You got ahead of me already. You're picking from different plates. This is an interesting one. I'm going to put a link right now up top to Ricardo's video where he did a huge one of these at this very store, right? Yes, six or seven pounds maybe. Well, after you try that, you, I want to say, how hard would you think that it will be like? Okay, uh, I'll, well, because you didn't have anything on it, right? I tried in the beginning, but as the flavor got uh, more intense during the challenge, I prefer not to use it, just... Okay. Mm. All meats inside, right? I thought it was more of a salad, um, but there's definitely a shell with different meat inside. That is good, but that would be very hard to eat. <laughs> when I started the challenge, I knew, okay, this is gonna be tough. I'm familiar with Ricardo's channel. He's the biggest eater in Brazil by far, probably biggest eater in all of South America. Not even close. But he does some very hard challenges that no one else is doing. Obviously, we don't even sell this in the United States, but doing a massive seven pound one of this, it was, that's a workout. 
If I knew how hard that would, uh, was going to be, I guess I would ask a, a little smaller. It took me like 50 minutes. Maybe. Watch the whole video to see exactly how long <laughs> it took. And click on his ads. This is really good. I've definitely never had anything close to this before. Yuri, I'm going to take this piece of meat here. This is cut, okay? I don't know. All right, here we go. They use some stuff like this in like veggie burgers. I was going to say, if, if you didn't tell me what that was before, that's very similar to a lot of veggie burgers. Yes. Yeah, but it, it is. Very similar. It's like a mini veggie burger. Some of this food <clears throat> looks incredibly dry, but it's not when you eat it. It's, it's very surprising. Galerinha, eu estou muito feliz de estar em mais um rodízio aqui com o Bob, né, comendo essas comidas deliciosas. E né, se você assiste jogos de esporte, principalmente no almoço com os amigos. Hey, this dish is a a meat dish, and I have to get you the name. It's a ground meat. Now, this is not an insult, but think of like a any kind of taco ground meat. That type of texture, but so much more flavor. There's so much. I would love to get taco tacos out of this. Yeah, they should be nice with tacos. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm. I was just going to get my favorites, but I might have to get every single thing I got again. They're all delicious. I have two different rice dishes. One has lentils. Mm -hmm. This dish is really good. This with lentils and rice. I know if you come to the buffet, you're probably avoiding these things just because you're trying to get your fill of meat. You gotta have at least a little bit of this. This is what I'm calling a plain rice. It's, it's far from plain rice, but I am glad I skipped breakfast. <laughs> Save room for this stuff. This is lamb meat, probably, right? Oh, lamb meat? No, 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 lamb no, meat. Uh, uh, ground say, meat, sorry. Yeah, it sounds like, tastes like beef to me. Yeah, like ground meat and. This with tacos should be great. Or a burrito? That, that would, I would eat yeah. that in a second. The name of this cheese is escaping me. Uh, Qualiada. There you go. That's the type of cheese this is. <laughs> it's like a cream cheese. It's good. But a little harder, I think. This is, this is the least favorite of all of them, but it's still good. See? I have the same uh, opinion. I, I like it. I prefer the order, but it's still good. This also is probably my healthiest plate. Lots of green in here. Um, doesn't really counterbalance all that I've eaten since I've been in Brazil, but we're gonna go give it a try. It's really finely cut up, so the flavors mix really well. I think I'm tasting a bunch of parsley in here. That was yet another fan of Ricardo's, which seems to be like Anyone between 16 to like 50 knows them. It's funny when little kids recognize me and their parents don't know who I am. <laughs> He's recognized everywhere. And even if they don't come up, they just get a smile and like a nod of the head. Rod <laughs> too. Are you good me? Whether you're eating or not, I know I'm eating. <laughs> this food is good. I got a lot of my favorites, and it turns out someone was shadowing me at the buffet. Yeah. Round two, I'm just gonna get my favorites, and it turns out that Ricardo got exactly what I got, so we'd have the same thing, so let's go. All right, here we go with round two. I yes. wanna go for these, I wanna try to get this hot. I've been looking forward to this. You ate this one last time. This is the meat, or I'm gonna call meat pizza, but in a different shape. Yes. It's warm. Okay, you can pick, you can pick next. And chicken. Chicken it is. It's a whole nother yeah. level when it's, warm, when it's warm. Yes. I like the flavor of this chicken very much. When people see you eating in the same restaurant they're eating in, they must be, they must be thinking like, oh, it must be good. Ricardo is here. He wouldn't eat all this food for, for nothing. Mm. All right, let's get the fish. You don't like the uh, fish. Yes. I'll get it out of the way for you. Maybe a lemon. Your turn. Potato. 
Potato it is. I didn't have that the first time around. Let's go back to another one of these. I had another, another the, beef one. After the first bite, put the... Okay. This is the uh, chickpeas? Yes. Lamb? Is that what you're yeah. going for? I don't know how long this is cooked for, but it is so soft. It just melts. Probably many hours, right? Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a one. Right. Are, they, are they all beef up there? There's, I got three beef in a row. Yeah. I guess the other shape is the cheese one. Oh, it's open up top. I saw that. Yeah, That's right. a little open in the top. I want to thank Ricardo and Ibn for taking me to bait, and thanks to the staff at bait for all this great food. Uh, that was an excellent uh, choice to come here. Yes. The food was fantastic. Ricardo was getting to know what I like, and he was picking out different places to go, and <laughs> I'm glad he picked here. Thanks yes. for doing another video with me. I thank you. If you don't know Ricardo, check him out. I'll have all of his links in the uh, description below. You must check him out, though. He's like one of the few eaters who actually shows what he's eating. He puts it on the scale beforehand. He's 100% legit. There can be no phony stuff with him. So check him out. Thanks for coming to another video, and I'll see you guys again soon.